Hello, it's Nedrak, and welcome to The Art of War Red Tides, a game that became recently available on Steam as open beta, and uh, it's a strategy game that's mainly based on uh, the player sending units on a lane back and forth and deciding the compositions. It's it's a uh, it's based on macro macro play instead of micro, so it almost plays like a turn-based, but uh, I believe it's best if we see it. Anyhow, I already did the tutorial. So other than that, didn't do anything. We can also set up our armies. This could uh, define our playstyle. But uh, there's nothing else to know here. Let's just go quick play and see if this works out. I'm just gonna cut here. Alright, we're in game. So, we are choosing stuff. Not sure what. Choosing rooms. Rooms page one. I guess that's it. So I'm choosing my my deck. Or my armies. Well I only have one army. So I'm going with Terran 1. Terran 1 it is. Please choose a commander skill. Oh yeah. Let's go with bombing run. So these are special skills to well, win back the game or just you use in a tough spot. And that's it, that's all I have. So yeah, I might as well put it there. And I'm done! They do the same. Oh, you still have to load. A bit few Chinese guys, that's fine. And everyone seems to be a huge fan of Terran. Black my 3v3. At least it should make the game Fairly easy Prepare to explain. Yourself. The battle is about to begin. Now, we can upgrade the mine, or maybe not. So we need to select some units. And early on, I believe we're just gonna go with riflemen. Gonna buy a lot of them. So it works in such a way it's our round that uh, our soldiers are ready and buying ready. units. Now we have spent our crystal. Oh come on. So we need to spend our crystal on units, and these units go down a lane and fight for the point. Our soldiers revenge. And we wanna keep adding to this army. And tune it in such a way, we can also take away from it, so we are not limited to it. We can just, we can just get rid of all these guys and go for another strategy if we feel like that Dominating. is what we need against our opponent. <laughs> Currently, we seem to be doing a good job, but they are definitely have their own agenda in mind. They have flame to work, guys, and that is a good, good answer to my spamming of units. Maybe I go for a. No, not, that's not what we want to do. This bonus that means that, in order to even consider using this unit, we need to pay 400. Okay, let's just go. I can also upgrade. I just go with more damage. All right. I'm just fighting over the mid for now. Also, of course, we use the upgrade point. There we had the upgrade point. We had one. Now we don't have a single one. Dominating. I'm not sure if we can upgrade the mine right now. So I need 600 soul essence to do it. That might be worth considering, but it could also be too soon to do it. Not sure how long it takes. I think we should do it. Unstoppable. Soul essence mine is upgraded. Okay, we're upgrading it. So while we're upgrading, we don't get, of course, income. But uh, after that, we're gonna get more income. But seem to be, we seem to be winning right now. The main problem is the turret. Dominating. So we may be able to stall for time. And this looks like the case. It's gonna be okay. Our guys are good enough. It's right now. Unstoppable. We can also upgrade. We have an upgrade point. We can further upgrade that damage. And that's good. 
So these guys are very effect very efficient right now. We can even get rid of all of these and uh, have more have more crossbowmen instead because they are upgraded anyway. And just keep making them. This, there is the income. So, but we need to deserve diversify our force a little bit because crossbowmen only is not gonna work out. This, these are their special powers. We can consider using a bomb run, but I don't believe this is a good idea right now. Oh, that's bad. So we need, I believe, a knight. Or however, this guy is called. He's a tank. So if you allow us to, well, you allow my crossbowmen to not, not be in the front line and take the damage. Oh, we wanna have another one of the, yeah. Can we upgrade? So the next upgrade would cost two, so we can't upgrade the crossbowmen any further. We can of course wait for another point. All right, let's just let's just go with what we know. More crossbowmen. We, we are kind of committed to the crossbowmen at this point because we upgraded it. There's no way to revert upgrades as far as I know. Crossbowmen is a, is a decent way to go right now. But he is also spamming uh, units a little bit, so we might go for... So we can upgrade the mine at wave 25, but not till then. This is a flying uh, cloak unit, not that important right now. This is an anti-air. Sentinel is a Terran anti-air unit, which can attack air units with missiles. And this is a AoE, siege mode. It's really good. But it would be really, really expensive to try to save up for it. Can we afford that? It would be a huge deal because he loves spamming as well. We're just gonna take the risk. So far we are doing okay. He chose to bomb us, so that's fine. Actually, it really doesn't matter. We have our turret up. So before he can uh, siege our base, he must uh, get rid of our turrets. This and that. Now, we are getting very close. Siege. So we have to pay up, pay 2,000 for no reason other than just the, to use it. So we, we pay 2,000 to get one, and we pay 2,000 to have the option of using these mangonos at all. And we definitely plan on buying another one. So we, and uh, we can see our income. We have uh, 50 crystals, not sure how it's called, crystals per second. And uh, this is an important stat as well, 27 out of 60, that's the unit count. And it's uh, fairly effective to spam units, but uh, once the siege engines and the AoE comes into play, well, you can, you can regret it. Actually, they have a lot of... Uh... Okay, let's just get another knight. Maybe, yeah. That's a scout. So if they have any kind of uh, cloak, then we will be able to see that. The units uh, spawn when... well, th there's the spawn timer. So we got 18 second uh, rounds. And the units spawn, whatever units we select here, will spawn at once. Also, they also have uh, special abilities, like this uh, Mangono. We can activate the special abilities for greater effects. And the guy is definitely serious about pushing me in and taking that tower. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I just use my bombing run as well. Just to get a little bit back into the game. And to get a little more crossbowmen. It's always good. And also we can only have six type of units. So now I have one dedicated to a scout. And uh, not sure how many types of units key we can select. I believe 10. <laughs> but we can definitely ha can have it all. Oh crap. That could be bad. 
Not even sure what that is, but... Gotta make sure to not get killed by that. And this is a good time to activate our special ability. Just to do some extra damage. Oh, what is that? I'll just kill it. Yeah, more siege. The crossbow is always nice as a single target. So we got 30 single target guys, 3 tanks, 4 AoE, and the scout. Just to see if any sneaky business is going on here. And, but we don't have any anti-air. But we currently don't even need anti-air, except for this guy. These also serve as anti-air. Uh, not, not dedicated anti-air, but they can shoot air. I'm using airborne. Okay, I just activate the special ability. Kick some ass. Alright, but but these these guys are anti-air, so there's no point in me ever going for anti-air as long as he has them up. So what else we can go for? Th this is the air. This is a uh, AOE ground attack biological medium. You can see AOE ground attack biological medium. So this is a good good tip. Oh, we can also see the specific stats. Eighty five defense. 9 attack and melee range. Oh, I actually didn't want that. But we can just get rid of it. And it's no problem. If I do it right. Oh, come on. But it's actually a good thing that he's using up his special ability. Because the special abilities cost uh, 200 by default. And every time you use them, they cost 100 more. And also the cooldown. Our ally is unstoppable. The enemy base and uh, is ahead. this is the resource you use gold to use them. So he just keeps up. Well, he, he uses his uh, gold to to save himself right now, but it's gonna be a big trouble later, and we are going towards his base. I just ah. Uh, do I want to get another one? Now, the thing we have to pay attention to is that we have 47 out of 60 guys. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay, we're good. So, we can't really spam to our heart's content much longer because we can only have 8 more guys. Of course, we can always reduce from any particular group. I just activate the special ability. But uh, still, we need to keep in mind too. Can we act? Well, upgrading that would cost me too. I just have more tanks. <laughs> so, getting some help, that's fine. We can also, I believe, upgrade. For 900, we can upgrade it. We could, we could have upgraded it earlier. We should have upgraded it earlier. Soul Essence Mine is That's fine. Okay, act activate the special abilities. By the way, you can do that with the Shift 3. And you can also select the units with 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, and... Wow, this guy is really... What the hell? Okay, let's just bomb him once. This is crazy. That's a lot of guys. Holy hell! How the hell he got so many? Your troops arrive? No way. So. <laughs> now we are still waiting for the upgrade. And uh, looks like we can see the upgrade. Uh, there's 10 seconds left. Unstoppable. Now the Soul Essence Mine upgrade. So when this finishes, then we gotta get, make more. Yeah, instead of 50, maybe I go 100 per second. Soul I definitely should have uh, upgraded that earlier. And by the looks of it, I might just 
Do I have to bomb that? Come on, this is crazy. Huh. That's odd. My troops arriving! Time to kick some ass. Let's get. Yeah. That's close. <laughs> And we can see what kind of upgrade level they have. Oh, Essence Collector has reached maximum level. Fine. Can we just bomb him? Does it really matter? Big bombs! Go for it! I would love to upgrade these things, so... <laughs> maybe we save a point if we ever get more experience. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> Alright, but so AoE seems like the good choice here. <laughs> I'm really swarming the guy. Yeah. Okay. Special ability. And we can't activate this? Why not? Maybe he's... Too... Maybe we can bomb his base? I don't know. But he's getting moved for sure. Oh. Oh. Wait a second. It's over. That makes sense. <clears throat> Victory! Easy win, right? Well done, Commander. Ain't that crossbow too big for you, mate? I guess not. Anyhow, that was the game. So I hope you guys had fun and uh, well, do we see anything else? Oh yeah. So when we level up, you get stuff, you get access to new units, and uh, you. Mm. But this is not an upgrade. This is just a. What is this? I have no idea. Just another way to upgrade things. So you unlock options rather than upgrades. And the dev said that this is how it's gonna be. So we just have to see. Can I see how awesome I was? I was, uh, well, I was a little bit behind the minerals actually. But I did have the most troops by far. And I had the most kill? Come on, tell me that. Come on, what is this? That's the skill use. MVP? Who was the MVP? Well, apparently that guy was the MVP. So, congrats to him. However he's called. And we're gonna get a battleship next. So that's it. So hope you guys had fun and see ya. If you want more of this, just, just tell me or just check out the rest of my content. That's kind of cool too. So anyway, uh, have a good one guys.